I posted a message the other day that uh, within my blog, within Teaching and Developing Online, and the title for it was 10 Steps to Moving It Forward, Cyber School Improvement. What it is is it's 10 steps to move an established cyber school like the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School forward. And what I would like to do is I'd just like to say a little bit more about each one of the 10 steps because I think just listing them doesn't really do it justice. The first one was never ever forget what makes any school successful is its teachers. The success or failure of any school can be measured back to a single element and that single element is your teachers. If you build a cyber school using the best teachers you can find you will always be successful because they will work towards a common goal and will produce something that is second to none. If you put the teachers in the cyber school that you do not think function well in a face-to-face -face school or are not strong teachers, that's exactly the type of cyber school you'll get. So in order to, for a cyber school to go, go, go forward and to be the best possible school, just like any other school, you have to populate it with some of the best teachers you can find and then you'll have a very, very powerful cyber The second of the 10 steps in taking it forward or moving it forward in, cy in cyber school improvement, which refers to an article that was written in my teaching and developing online blog. The second point or the second step is the administration's job is to supply the teachers with what they need to be successful and remove all barriers that stop this from happening. If the administration and the cyber school are spending all their time putting up barriers and not removing barriers, they, the cyber school will not continue to move forward. What ends up happening is it becomes stagnant and it becomes something that doesn't fulfill its destiny which sounds really cool but what I do as an administrator at our cyber school is I try to do my best to supply my teachers with whatever they need and also to remove anything that stops them from being successful or to give them the tools give them the education give them everything that they need to be successful and that's my role as an administrator the third step in taking steps to moving it forward, which is a cyber school improvement. Uh, it was a, a blog entry that I had put into Teaching and Developing Online, and I just want to talk about the third step. The third step needs to be as follows. All decisions that are made have to be made with the students in mind. They're the ones who are either going to succeed or fail in the cyber school. Every other decision, if you're making it for money or if you're making it for any other reasons, it will not help you out because then what you're doing is you're doing it for the wrong reasons. The students is why schools exist. The students are what you need to keep in mind when you're making decisions about how to move a school forward. Step four in 10 steps to moving it forward, how to move an established cyber school forward and how to improve it. Step four talks about you have to practice what you preach. If no face-to-face -face contact is made with the students in your cyber school, then teachers need to practice this as well. That means no face-to-face -face meetings and everything that you expect a student to do, you should, as a teacher, of should have ex experienced it at least once. If you haven't taken an online course yet as a teacher, then make sure that you take one so that you understand the frustrations and how it feels to actually do an online course. So most good cyber school teachers have somewhere along the line actually tried and faced uh, online course. Ten steps to moving it forward. How to move an established cyber school forward. Step number five. Communication, communication, communication. It solves most issues. You need to communicate as an administrator, I need to communicate with my staff members. Staff members need to communicate with each other. Staff and members need to communicate with students. Students need to communicate with students. The more communication that happens in a cyber school, the better off you're gonna be and it will solve most issues. Many of the issues or 90% of the issues that I deal with here as uh, sitting in the cyber school as administrator is a lack of communication a misunderstanding of some sort has occurred and has blossomed into a full-blown crisis because the people didn't talk to each other so the more communication you can do the better off you're going to be 
10 steps to moving it forward cyber uh, moving uh, an established cyber school forward and improving it step number six do not enforce known rules by communicating to the whole communicate issues to the specific staff or students if you have a rule in your in your course which you have found a student has not respected or has not followed it is important that you bring up that rule with that single student do not make a global communication to the whole staff and that applies to myself as administrator as well to the whole staff make sure that you bring up the specific issue with the specific staff or the specific student global communication in order to reinforce rules is not the best way to do things because people stop listening after a little while where if you know that the rule has been broken by a staff member or by a student bring it up with that specific staff or student and you'll find that you can deal with it refer back to, to rule number five which is communication 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 Ten steps to moving it forward. How to improve an, a cyber, an established cyber school. Step number seven. Make sure that the teaching staff know that the internet and technology changes continuously, and their courses need to reflect this change. More than in your face-to-face -face class, you cannot rest on your laurels in the cyber school. You have to make sure that your course continues to reflect change and continues to improve based on the fact that the technology changes at a very rapid and continuous pace. Your courses have to do exactly the same thing because if they don't, then you're going to find that your courses tend to be dated and students right away will write it off as not being a valuable experience for them because it is dated and it seems to be talking about something that is not relevant. 10 steps to moving it forward. How to, an impro how to improve an established cyber school. Step number eight talks about how the teaching staff must exist where their students do. Students spend their time online. They're on their phone texting, they're on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're on a lot of the different social networking tools that are out there. They love YouTube. That's where they exist. In order for teachers to have street cred with those students, they need to have a professional online entity. There's nothing worse than myself finding an online cyber teacher who doesn't know anything about the social networking tools. They, you have to have credibility with the students and the way you, you get that is by experiencing what they experience. Exist where they exist. Become part of the social networking. Ten steps to moving it forward. How to improve an established cyber school. Number nine. Teaching staff's professional learning group should use social networking tools to access the best that exist in the world. Cyber teachers are few and far between. Good cyber teachers are even more few and far between. In order for you to have a professional learning group that you can follow and that you can learn learn from excuse me you have to go out onto the world wide web you have to join Twitter you have to join Facebook you have to use the internet in order to communicate with those other teachers out there who are breaking new ground at exactly the same way your cyber school is doing in order to do that you have to get on the world wide web you have to find those other teachers you can learn a lot from a face-to-face -face teacher but they will not be experiencing the same problems and the same issues that an online school is is finding so in order to do that you have to use the internet ten steps to moving it forward how to improve an established cyber school Step number 10. Do not, under any circumstance, assume it is someone else's problem to fix. If you work at the school, it's your problem. 
too often on an online school that teachers assume that it's a techies issue or it's an issue with the server or it's an issue with the email or it's an issue with this it is your problem if you work at the school make it your problem take responsibility become part of the solution you are valued as a staff member in order for a school to reach its potential everyone has to take ownership for that school in order for it to reach its potential that is step number 10.